Here are specific instructions on how to correctly install the TrueTrack Taper Trough Tracker. Firstly, identify the problem area on the load carrying side of the belt. Then prepare to install the Taper Trough Tracker at or just before the problem area, ensuring that it is installed before transitional idlers and never under loading chutes. Prior to installation, ensure that the power is switched off and the conveyor is locked out to avoid accidental startup during the installation. Lift the conveyor belt and remove the standard troughing frame. Remove the taper wing rollers from the taper trough tracker before installing the tracker frame to the structure. Bolt the L-shaped brackets onto the structure to face up or down depending on belt height. Remove the decking plates if necessary. Partially tighten the mounting bolts for the L-shaped brackets. Knock both brackets fully backwards towards the tail pulley to ensure that the L-shaped brackets are perpendicular to the structure. Once completed, tighten all bolts. Slide the tracker under the belt. As the tracking is done by the taper wing rolls, it is vitally important that the center rollers have minimal tension with the loaded conveyor as too much tension will impede the performance of the tracker. Adjust the height of the taper trough frame in such a way that the center rollers are approximately 10 millimeters below the normal troughing idlers. Bolt the tracker frame onto the L-shaped brackets and tighten the bolts. Ensure that the taper trough tracker is centered on the structure by adjusting it until the distance between the sliding tubes and the mounting brackets are equal on both sides and then tighten the retaining bolts. Reinstall the taper wing rollers onto the cradle and then lower the belt onto the taper trough tracker. Adjust one of the taper wing rollers upwards until maximum belt contact on the taper wing roller is achieved with minimal tension as over tensioning of the taper wing roller will result in excessive wear on the rubber lagging. This is normally five degrees more than the existing troughing angle. Measure the height of the previously adjusted taper wing roller and adjust the other taper wing roller to exactly the same height. Lock all bolts and cut the strap. Installation is now complete. Remove all tools from the work area and start the conveyor. The taper trough tracker should immediately activate and center the belt. If the taper trough tracker is not activating and tracking the belt, this can be as a result of too little or too much tension on the center rolls. To solve this problem, increase or lower the height of the taper trough frame by at least one hole upwards or downwards. In addition, adjust the existing standard trough idler frames before and after the taper trough tracker to be perpendicular to the structure. If the problem still persists, remove any other tracking devices in front of or behind the taper trough tracker as these devices may reduce or interfere with the performance of the TrueTrack taper trough tracker.